This is a follow-up video for some electric work I've had done to my home for a future EV battery or two electric vehicle chargers to completely future-proof my home. The main reason for this upgrade is so I can demo electric vehicle charge points currently sold. And I have a whole list of electric vehicle chargers that are being sent to me by various companies. If your company has an electric vehicle charge point and you think it's worthy of a critical, fair review, then send it in to me. I'll be demoing the whole unit from how it works, install, build quality, what's in the box, and also the general use of any apps that may come with it. So if you make a charge point, it's sold in the UK, in Europe, anywhere that you want it to be demoed, then send it in to me, and there'll be a review on for my channel every single charge point I can get my hands on. I'll also be doing a refresh of a video I've got here, which is all the electric vehicle chargers you can buy in the UK side by side with a cost low to high. I'm partnering with a company called Right Charge for that. If you're looking for a vehicle home charger for your house or you just bought an electric vehicle and you want a price for one, then there's a link down below in my description to link to Right Charge for a special referral I've got going with them to find an EV charge point that suits you. So let's have a look what's changed. So if we open up my electric cupboard where my meter was, you can see that quite a lot has changed in here. It is a lot busier, a lot more compact, a lot more stuff has been installed in here. So let's explain what those things are. First of all, we've got the main armoured cable coming in here on the right hand side, and that's entering the box there and going into this little consumer unit, fused unit, and it's fused because it's so far away from my garage for safety. Now, as I said, the reason I was doing all this is because I'm having my garden redone and all these new paving slabs have been installed down here which look lovely and you can see there's a drain pipe there and that drain pipe is the pipe carrying the cat5 cables which are going to be used these two cat5 cables here are going to be used for ct clamps and maybe batteries or chargers etc but basically they run underground here with the armored cable all the way down this path securely under here going straight to my garage at the end of there and the idea of having that drain pipe is i, I can still drag extra cables through you can still see there is a blue cord there for pulling other cables through in the future so let's explain what i've got as you can see here that's the incoming supply it goes to the future goes to the meter then for the meter it goes to the contractor block there and from the contractor block it goes to this Henley block so it splits the tails and we've got one going down here into this box that goes to the armored cable that goes to my garage um, basically fed all the way under there and then the other box goes into my house now in the garage you can see that the armored cable comes in the bottom here and goes all the way around here. Now I fit this flat ply board to the back for two reasons. One, so it complies with regs, fire safety, etc. But also so I can mount EV charge points onto the actual board. It will make life a lot easier. Now as you can see here, I have massively over specced the consumer unit. It's, it's a huge consumer unit, probably bigger than some people have got in the house, but it's because of a couple of reasons I've got loads of supplies on there. But I've also got this commando socket here. And that commando socket can be turned on and off but there is a reason I have fitted this commando socket, and I think I mentioned it before in my previous video, but I'm going to show you when I get into the office what it's for. Now, this consumer unit does power a couple of other things apart from this commando socket. It also powers some sockets and lights that I've got outside, so I can do some more filming outside in the winter. Because of COVID, I'm going to be filming at home more. You can clearly see that the board's not finished yet. There's some other things here, but at the bottom of here is where I can back drill EV sockets or bottom feed them depending on what kind of connection, what kind of charge point it is. But it means I can mount all the charge points here, even two charge points at a time on this board so you can see them side by side. And this little thing that you can see sticking out of the plug socket, that is actually for network connections. That is a Wi-Fi plug and then I'm also going to have an Ethernet that I can plug into that so I can test different charge points with Wi-Fi or Ethernet cables in this garage. And I, of course, have running here is the two cat fives that I've obviously very very neatly tucked away in the roof space. Just over here on my left shoulder underneath my octopies, uh, by the way that's plural for octopuses, look it up it definitely is, that I have a list of EV chargers uh, that have currently been sent to me and there's quite a lot and obviously I couldn't go around getting each one individually installed by an electrician for testing etc it would just be too time consuming too cost costly etc and a lot of these units are built with ways of installing them which are 
basically safer for any electrician to install. They use things called uh, Wago terminals, which basically click in electrical connections. But however, they're still high voltage, so I needed a safe way of testing it and installing it, uh, which was cost effective for me and didn't require an engineer coming around to my house every five minutes. So what I've done is I've got some cable here. Now, as you can see, it is just some flexible electrical cable that's rated a, a high enough rating for an electric vehicle charger. It's you know, it's, it's a big bulky cable, it's thick. It's a HO7 cable for any electricians that wanna know and I've got that so it's flexible and can be carried on being reused for testing purposes. Now, I will be testing the apps and also charging cars on this. So this is suitable for doing all that. If I was just plugging in and powering them up, I could have just wired it to a three pin plug as long as I wasn't plugging it into a car. That would power the unit sufficiently if it wasn't drawing anything. Anyway, back onto this cable, big chunky cable. Uh, why is this? big chunky cable going to allow me to test vehicles safely and effectively. Well, first of all, on both ends, I've had them uh, crimped with uh, crimping stuff so I can basically un unscrew them, rescrew them to things over and over again without damaging the cables. So that makes a lot of uh, usability, reusability good for me. Um, but basically this end here, this end will, well, uh, to be honest, it could be this end. We'll go with this end will be wired up to an EV charger. So these ends here will be wired up to an EV charger uh, by an electrician um, that I will send out the, the unit to an electrician or drive it to an electrician that I know so he's not got call outs and effectively running around all the time. Um, or I might just install it myself at my house and have him come over and just check Check it, just put some testing tools on and make sure it's safe. We haven't decided on logistics yet. It's all depending on lockdown and COVID safety rules, etc. But yes, this end will be connected by an electrician. And what's going to be on the other end? Well, in true blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. So uh, on this end, we have what was, what's known as a commando socket. And this commando socket will go into that commando socket you saw in my garage of, uh, of before in the previous part of the film. So this will plug in to the commando socket. I will turn it on with electricity. Electricity, 32 amps, 240 volts will pass through this cable and then go into this end, which will be plugged into an EV charger. And the reason I have two cables, I'll be having two commando sockets, is one commando socket will be wired up in my house at all times and the other one will be going off to an electrician to be wired up or it'll be on my wall ready to be plugged in at any point in time. Just, just basically so I can have two ready to go and I can just test in between units and compare units and do all sorts of things. Now, uh, this is going to take some time to review and go through every charge point and depending on timings, you'll either see a couple of the review videos of these charge points come out staggered, followed by my overall compare video, or you will see the compare video followed by the reviews of the charge points. I will try and do it in any manner I can there is a lot of work, there's a lot of filming involved to get all this done. There is a massive logistical challenges, not, not least the amount of money I've had to spend upgrading my electrics and getting everything ready and buying various cables and consulting various electricians and putting Cat5 cables in for CT, CT clamps, which will be used in some of the charge points that I'll be demo, demoing and there'll be reasons for that which I'll go into. If there is a specific charge point that you really, really want me to demo, then leave a comment down below. If I've already got that charge point, I'll let you know. If I've contacted the company, I'll let you know. And if it's one I've not heard of and I've not reached out to yet, I will go ahead and try and get hold of that charge point for you so I can review it. So let me know down below in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this quick catch up video and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.